K&S Microwash model 973 has a chamber where the wafer is mounted uh, onto a, uh, a truck uh, that is held down by a vacuum uh, all your front panel controls are here your lid close the two outside ones and there's two because so it's a safety feature so you cannot close the lid without using both of them um, power on power off and lid open and then start start will light up when the program is running stay lit until the program is done and right here you have your vacuum that's at the chuck uh, there's a single hole through the center uh, here's for your co2 reionizer and that's explained in the manual and then your dry nitrogen is here and when that's active during the cycle this needle will move accordingly uh, so stay i'm going to open up the lid and and in here you have your wash arm and this is the parked position and then as it washes uh, this is we spinning this is a wafer and it will be moving the arm back and forth over the wafer to high pressure wash it it's washing up to 2000 psi uh, and this is the dry nitrogen arm here so when the dry nitrogen cycle starts uh, this will be blowing uh, on the surface to cool it in the top here we have an infrared lamp that will turn on you'll see that turn on during the demonstration so we're going to close it you can see these lights turned off so we'll hold it down until it closes when they light up we can let go and we're going to access the recipes here so we can go into recipe options and at this point we could either view the recipe load a recipe or edit a recipe so I'm going to say load a recipe and actually it's got the one I wanted which is recipe one and uh, we can view what the recipe is by hitting view and it shows you the different parameters uh, a high pressure clean the dry one cycle uh, it shows that the cycle speed is during these times nitrogen blow off these are all times in seconds and then the heat lamp so we're gonna say okay so and okay again and we're back at the main screen it's ready so we're going to go and the first thing it's going to do is apply a vacuum so we're going to watch this gauge here it's going to throw the vacuum onto the truck uh, if there was a leak or something like that or no or no substrate there then it would throw an error and not start so let's hit start the light comes on applies the vacuum and since the substrate was there it's doing the high pressure clean cycle and you should be able to see that arm moving in there and here the water coming out of the nozzle when the high pressure cycle is done we'll count finish counting and then go down to the next now it's doing the dry so you can't see anything but the the uh, truck is spinning and the nitrogen is on and it's showing uh, it's spinning at 2000 rpm and then the infrared light comes on and of course all these settings are things that you can change to whatever your application needs the truck slows down Well, the drying has completed once the cycle has completed this lamp will go off and on the screen you can see it says that the process is done so that's a normal uh, demonstration of what goes on normally uh, I want to show a couple things here I'm going to go back to the main uh, we do have a manual mode and that's for testing certain things so I'm going to go into here manual now there's a code and it's in the manual uh, that'll come with the unit uh, there's a passcode you need and it's 3910 so I'm going to put in 3910 and enter and it enters us into a three page uh, diagnostics and it shows us different things that are currently going on what we can do for instance I can turn the vacuum on and 
as you can see our vacuum here is on keep a watch on that gauge I'll, uh, I'm going to turn the vacuum off you can see the vacuum gauge is turned down um, I can turn the heat lamp on so you can look in there so these are all things that you can do just to to test them out and and step through the pages by these arrows here and there's shows you the, the status of different switches etc so and then on top here you can see this is your standard email switch emergency stop hit it down to shut everything off this is your drain uh, and your other facilities requirements are here they're all labeled some of them even have the pressures on them but the, the book does show all of that uh, there's an exhaust port here and there's a blower on the inside so it will be uh, on and blowing and uh, your main circuit breaker is here okay so I'm going to shut the we're at the main screen again and I'm going to shut the power off and just so you can see what power comes on very simple starts up and it goes through a uh, startup screen and then comes to the main page now there have been times when we get an error instead of coming to ready it'll say 2905 communications error this is a very uh, well known bug that's in their firmware uh, it occurs randomly and it, and it occurs very seldomly but it does occur sometimes you just have to shut off and turn it back on again and it mostly goes away and you know it usually happens once or twice and that's it and you're good for a while but it's it's nothing that's wrong it's just something that's inherent in the system and you have to that's the other way to get around it just turn it off turn it back on